What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the EAFC career mode. Luton Town in a bit of trouble. Just one win in our last eight games. Back in the bottom three and of course the big blow. Ross Barkley done for two months. Massive games coming today and of course we're going to enter the January trans window as well. Loads to get through. Let's crack straight on. Yep, first game today. Bournemouth away in the South Coast. Absolutely massive clash right now after just one win in our last seven games. And of course no Barkley as well. Got to pull the rabbit out of the hat here at the Vitality. Come on Luton town. Oh, no, 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 no. God. I'm starting to get really nervous now, man. I'm starting to get really nervous. No Barkley. He normally pulls it out for me when I need him to. Low on confidence. Can't put the ball in the back of the net. Can't put wins on the board. I'm starting to feel the pressure now. Really starting to feel the nerves. There's still a whole half of the season to go. But January is going to be a crucial month, man. It, it really is. I think we've got to make a big signing. So it's something big in the transfer window. Because right now, can, can this squad pull us out? I'm not too sure. I just can't pull anything out right now. It's an absolute nightmare. And this is going to be two, I think. It is. Defense weak. Can't score to save my lives. Can't create many chances either. And can't win. We're in serious trouble. Giles just about keeps it in play. And O'Hare to Adebayo. But the final ball has just not been there for not the last time or the first time this season. I don't know what to do. I literally just don't know what to do. We're going to get some money for Kaminsky. Sergeant's going to go. But I don't really know how we solve this problem. I've forgotten how much we're going to get for Kaminsky. I think it's only a couple of mil. Um, Sergeant, I think we can probably get around, yeah, around 5 to 6 mil. Maybe 6.5, due to the fact it's a long time remaining on his contract. So, you know, we don't need to be uh, panic selling there. Um, to add to the 3 mil, it's going to give us a bit of money, but not by much. I think as well, I need to sort this out too. Who Who is staying and who is going? I think, I think with the captain, I think I'm going to let him play his final year at the club here and leave on a free. Same with Amari Bell as well. I think maybe maybe one for Campbell and, and Barkley as well. I like Campbell's energy, but just a two-year extension for Allen to go alongside what he's currently on right now. I don't want to give him much of a, a wage increase either because, again, I need, to, I need to keep my eyes on that top left there because what we don't want to do... It's have even less money to work with January. I don't think that's worth doing, you know. I really don't. I like him. Good energy. But no. First of all, you're not going to be an important first team squad member anyway. And you're not getting a wage increase for being a bit part player. So, no. I think one of the only players that does justify a wage increase, however, is this man, Ross Barkley. So, an extra one on the contract for Ross Barkley. I like going up by one each time. I don't mind if he asks for a wage increase because he does deserve it based on his performances. But hopefully, he'll stay on the same salary, which he will just with a slight sign of us. But I've got to say, Ross, think of, think of the team, bro. Think of the team. Like, we, we, we need as much money as possible. You can get a little sign on bonus, but that's it. Thank you. No wage increase for Ross. He just loves Luton Town. Oh, and who have we got in the, uh, in the cup as well? Who have we been drawn against in the FA Cup? We could do it like a, a banker, really. And uh, I think we'll have one there. Blackpool. Battle of the Tangerines. But uh, Blackpool coming to Kenilworth Road. Hopefully get through that with minimal fuss. Because we could do with a big win to feel good about ourselves again. Right, following game, midweek, Liverpool. Team is shattered to, of course, a rotated line for the game. I'm just going to do everything I can to grind out a point in this one. To be fair, we haven't lost either of our last two games here. But I don't see it coming free in this one. As McAllis makes it 1 0. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, again, I said this in the last episode, we, we still are one of, if not the weakest team in the division. So, like, what, what are we really expecting here? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what are we expecting? A sergeant fires in the level instantly. Might be his final game for the club. He's bowed out of a level against Liverpool. It's his second goal against Liverpool. This is kind of what I was talking about in the last episode. Like, we're, we're not expected to be a Europa League team next season. Do you know what I mean? It's like, we're still... I hate you when you step inside. We're not supposed to win these games. We're lucky if we get a point. Like, this is, this is exactly what you'd expect, you know? We are in the position where you'd expect us to be, in or around there, you know? So... 
Got, got to remind myself of that. Free kick, Luton, rare chance from this set piece here. He's going to whip this ball in, which is headed on. <sighs> well, I think he's going, but he wants to bow out <laughs> with a man in the match just playing a point for Luton. And he's there again, and it's cleared away. Look for Josh Sargent, the Americans feeling it. Oh, it's going to become free. Look at the space here. I forced Amari Bell forward for a quick attack. It didn't work. Salah down the right. He's in behind Cashy, and this will do it. This will do it. This will do it. No, it's not. This is it. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Lovely bowl by Murich. This is it. Yes! First goal of the year. What a time to get it, Cotton! We had no choice but to push the pace, working from left to the centre, and the free man coming in with his first of the year. Do you know, I was thinking about selling him in January. I think he's just bought himself another six months. We still wait for a win, but you best believe I'm going to take it. So it means at a halfway point, this is just an absolutely bizarre table. But uh, Gunners are in front by eight, but they're the only team that have jumped out to a good start. Everyone else has been super inconsistent with Spurs and the Manchester teams in the top four right now. Villa 5th, Liverpool 6th, West Ham 7th, Newcastle Fulham and Brentford make up the top ten. But whilst we're still in the bottom three, just like last season, it's not as tight as last season, but it's still certainly not disastrous. We're still in the bottom three. But it's not by more than a one-game swing. Two behind the borough, three behind three teams as well. Halfway through, that's a big point now. But still, the biggest problem for us, only 15 goals in 19. Something's got to change. So as the January window is open, uh, lots to get through here. My goodness, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Yeah, January window is open. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, we've, uh, we've seen uh, Howes leave on loan to Stal Bucharest for the rest of the year. Uh, our new Polish goalkeeper has joined Spezia for the rest of the year. Uh, and Kaminski has gone to Wolves as well. So, what does that raise our budget to now? Just under £6 million. Um, So, it's not a lot. <laughs> It was me thinking we could bring in a star striker in January to fire in 12 or 13 goals. I don't think so with that sort of money. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, you never know. A bargain might be available. You never know. So uh, we've got three more scouting updates, though. And uh, we'll see what we've got from our next batch here. Nothing from England so far. From Poland, Pavlovsky looks really good in terms of the overall, but not the potential. And I want those players with higher potential, really. Yes, the overalls are good, and yes, we like to see it, but we we much prefer those players with, with the higher potential. And if they do have a low overall, as some of you guys have actually pointed out, to be fair, in the comments, if a position change will benefit them, then their overall will jump up regardless. So, yeah, for now, I'll, I'll keep scouting, but I don't think they're going to make it. And from Norway uh, this month... No potentials too low. To be fair, I'm, I'm quite happy with what we've, we've seen already, to be fair. So if for the rest of the year the scouts don't deliver, I still think we've got our money's worth, especially from Norway and Poland with the top two we promoted in the last episode. But for now, our academy is still looking like this. Uh, Johan Johansson looking solid. Declan Fletcher, who we fit up last season, still looks really good at the moment as a uh, young centre-half as well. Another good goalkeeper there. And this young Scottish centre-half has slipped under the radar from last season. I don't know if I've mentioned this guy. I've got to 60 overall now. And he's got 88, 94 potential as well. I haven't even talked about him. He looks pretty solid, to be fair, doesn't he? Oh, wow. Uh, I did not expect this. Wow. I did not expect this at all. Um, I mean... Now, now, this is where it becomes really, really tricky because ultimately, I mean, the excitement is real, but ultimately, not a lot of young players stay at their club when one of the elite clubs in world football come calling for them. Let's be honest here. I think I'm going to have to sell him, to be honest here, for the realism. Can't you just take him on loan, guys? <laughs> 
Chinese take him for a year and then bring him back when you developed him. I think if we're dealing with realism here, you've got to be honest. Like The chances of these players staying is highly unlikely. Our Premier League safety in major doubt. Two of the best football teams in the world putting in a bid. And Luton not having much money to work with. Let, let's be honest here, I think the chances are. They're going to want to leave and the board would probably intervene and say sell those young players because we'd rather have the cash. Um, can we get four mil? Come on, Man City. you got money to pay. Four mil? No. Might be able to get three and a quarter though. And I guess for a 17-year-old unproven, I will take it. That is gutting. I've just got four mil out of buying, so hopefully Anderson decides to go to Germany as opposed to stay in England. That is Gutting. You know, obviously not, not every young player would leave at this point, but mm, I think the majority probably would. And a few million for a player that's only had like one appearance. I mean, yeah, I think I think most clubs, hierarchies would say, please, please give us the money. That is really annoying. Josh Sargent is wanted by Atalanta, though. If I can squeeze around 7.5 mil out of the Serie A side, I'll take that. Because he's got four and a half years left on his deal. Then obviously, we don't really need to panic sell here. We've got plenty of time. We're only a few days into the window. So instead, well, I'll get even more. Seven and three quarter mil. So if the Anderson deal goes through and that money too, we might have around 13, 14 mil to work with. Fulham want Josh Sargent as well. Uh, but if I'm being honest here, I'd rather sell him outside of the country. So I'm just going to stall that offer in case yeah, that deal falls for otherwise. I'll, um, I'll send him there. Right, sorry, uh, following game, I'm confused because we've got Bournemouth again. <laughs> it's still in the Premier League, but this time it's the reverse fixture at Kenilworth Road. Massive point against Liverpool, but we need a win. We haven't lost though at home in our last three. Let's extend that to four and get a big three points here. Oh, no, 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 no. That burst of pace. Thankfully, oh, my God. It's just like the quickness. Do you know what I mean? Like you, For a split second, it's... You, you you can't do anything. You've got to react literally in record time. The only positive is the... Oh, you're having a laugh. <laughs> if you can't laugh, you'll cry. I'm on the verge of tears, though. The only positive is that, like, born for throwing so many bodies forward, and especially in their wing-back position. So we do have a lot of chances to run down those flanks. But the problem is, I can't seem to work the ball inside. And that that's the problem. Yes, there's space, but... Come on! Winning, kid. Half an hour to go. Okay, 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 okay. Right, now, what I need to do now is defend better. You know, I can see the stupid second goal. Don't let them restore the lead instantly, because if they do... Oh, how am I supposed to do anything about that? <laughs> oh, I don't know what you can do in that situation. I mean... There is literally nothing I can do, though, man. Nothing. There's barely any space, and he's just pulled that out of the bag. We're going to get some money for the kid and possibly Josh leaving as well, but we're going to have to make sure we invest it in the right player. We get this wrong, we're in deep trouble. And there we go. There it is. He wants to stay in England, which costs us a quarter of a million, but our wonder kid, well, one of them has gone tough, but I think probably the right thing to do, isn't it? I can just imagine Harlan tapping him up. Do you know what I mean? Over the phone. You want to uh, you want to play in the senior national team? Come join me at Man City. And there's another one. There's another one. So what is that going to mean for our budget now? Because that right there is... Oh, that's is terrible. I think it's about 11 and a half mil, I think. Yeah, I think that's actually spot on, isn't it? I think it's 11 and a half mil for the two of them, which means that our budget now is up to 15 million. Okay. All right. So I didn't want to see the one that could go. And to be fair, I didn't really want to see Sargent go after his little emergence in form recently. But do you know what? 15, 15 mil is enough to reinvest. But we still might make one or two more sales. So I'm not, I'm not going to panic buy just yet. We've still got three weeks to go. So let's not panic buy just yet. Wait for the, wait for the right 
Wait, wait, wait for the right move to become available. I think that at the moment, the player I'm most considering is Taiwo uh, at Forest, as they're still in the championship. But is there anyone? No. I don't think he's going to fire us to safety. I mean, he might, but I'm not too sure on that one. Um, yeah. At the moment, I'm not, I'm not really thinking. Sorry, I'm not really thinking there's anyone else other than Taiwo that really makes me think this could be the guy that could fire us in again around 8 to 10 goals in the second half, maybe a bit more than that. And that might be enough. Might not be, but it might be enough. Oh, I mean... That is worth considering. Wages are a little higher than I'd expect. I need him to. I need him to take a pay cut. But you know this guy comes up big at times. Maybe you could do it at Kenilworth Road. You never know. And if the loot and exodus continues, well, we won't see this one go through to the summer. So I don't really know where he's going because he can't leave until his contract is up. You can't put a Gabriel Osho on me, eh? Otherwise, I'll take you to court. Yeah, Tom Lockyer is going to leave. Uh, on a free and join Brentford, which to be fair, I don't mind that transfer one bit. Now, of course, third slash fourth choice centre R, so I'm okay letting him go. Right, following game. Man, do I need a win here and a big win to feel good about ourselves once again. Blackpool FA Cup third round. If we lose this game, then I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a long, long, long way back for us from this position. This is a huge game for psychology and momentum. Oh, chance for a quick counter here. It's, this, this should be one. If I play this right, this is one. Because there'll be two in the middle. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. There was always going to be at least one free man in the middle, so I couldn't mess that one up. God, do we need this W. Let me make sure I close this half out. Still leading, not surrendering any chances. At the moment, so far, so good. But with the confidence being shattered... Any small win, any lead of a half is something we will take. Does that make sense? Like when you, even if you just lead the first half, it still gives you confidence to think you can see it out in the second. This should be two. Smash it in near post. Yep, rocket. <sighs> Need this, man. You have absolutely no idea. Pans, that's yours, mate. Yes. Filling in at right back for this second half. And he's going to join the offensive as well. He'll be on there all the way out wide. Slow Pelly, man. And he'll get himself an assist for good measure as well. I love this guy, man. You know, when I said he should be captain, it seemed like the majority of you did prefer Pelly. So, yeah, I think for, for Lockyer going for next season, Pelly's going to be our official club captain. Love this guy, man. The energy. So committed. It's what we needed. It's what we got. Massive. Absolutely massive. That. And hopefully we can build on it as well. I talk about it often. Sometimes you need a gimme. We certainly got one. Fourth round, here we come. Most crucially, back to winning ways. Right, let's do one more, guys. Yeah, final one today. They're back for more. Going to set upon us like a pack of foxes that they are. Leicester at Kenilworth Road. Still in the bottom three. Still haven't won in several attempts. If we're going to get it right, now is the time. Massive basement battle to end on. Leicester, the revenge game. Here we go. Here we go. Slide it through the gap. There we go. Oh, it's okay. Just ain't got the strength. <laughs> Just ain't got the strength to hold on to that ball there, man. It's fine, though. It's fine defending well. Defending well. And I think we might get one chance in the second half to get a goal. The, the most important thing is we just don't give away an easy chance. Where are you going, Jaffet? Where are you going, mate? No, that's where it's going. So I've gone out. I've gone out. It's okay. Hang on. Oh, loads of space there. Yo, what a save! What a save! Yeah, that was so much power. Just... Ugh. Come on! It's gone. It's a throw. And I'll tell you what, Connor Roberts says, give me that ball and give me your towel. Look at him, look at him asking for it. Right, let me switch to Adam Bio. And as Leicester has switched off it, I'll hold on a second. <gasps> oh no! I don't believe it. It was 
It's almost perfect. The adrenaline got a bear on me, man. I just lost it. The adrenaline, guys, the adrenaline literally just flowed through my veins. Oh my god. Oh, I don't believe it. I actually don't believe it, man. Well, I mean, I know I keep repeating it, but it's an extra point on the board. And it shouldn't have been free. No doubt about it. Week to go into the window slam shot, I think. It's new striker time. I need to bring someone in. And that'll do it for today's episode, guys. So big thank you for watching. But if you could also leave a like and a comment today, guys. What are we doing? 10 days to go. I want your comments today. What do we decide to do with the 15 million in the budget? Do we bring in a new striker? Is it a Rigi time? Or do we just keep the cash in case of a rebuild required in the summer? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day. Much love. And I'll see you for the next episode of the EA FC Career Mode very soon. How did we not win that?